everyone, how are you doing? Today on my channel, I'm gonna do something that I've not done before. And no, I'm not talking about anything outrageous. I'm just saying that today I'm gonna share with you some ways in which you can pull through those spectacularly down on the dumps kind of days. Now, none of us can deny that all of us face those days when we feel really blue, we don't feel like getting up from bed, we don't feel like going out and facing the world, we don't wanna go to work, we don't wanna go to school. I want to say that I understand every one of us has those days but what I also want to tell you today is that those are exactly the days when you need to do that extra something to take care of yourself those are the days when you need to go that extra mile to do something special for yourself and practice self-care so let's get started with those tried and tested ways personally by me that really help bore you up when you're feeling royally down on the dumps during those not so great days let's try and convert all those not so great days into so great days step one start your day by drinking a good fill of water so drink a glass of water as soon as you wake up or take a huge swig from your personal water bottle because we all wake up from bed in the morning slightly dehydrated and if you don't refill your body with the amount of water that has been displaced during your sleep then you will end up feeling crappy throughout the rest of your day so yes it's a crappy day and you surely want to stuff yourself with some pizza or some ice cream and just binge eat right do not let that temptation play you because once you do this you will just end up feeling stuffed and sluggish and it's not a great feeling at all so it actually defeats the purpose so try to make yourself a nourish bowl or have some kind of a healthy meal although everything may seem crazy in your life if you feel like you have control over what you are putting into your body you'll feel a little bit better and that's what we are aiming for here recent research has shown that even a casual stroll boosts blood flow to our brains the effect is significant and it's somewhere between the effect of low impact riding of cycle and running with hard steps so somewhere in between so that's not too bad is it the scientists also believe that these boosts of blood circulation and therefore oxygen to the brain may actually help clear our heads and lead to an overall sense of well-being due to that exercise that you're doing through walking. So hey, it's a win-win. healthy fresh food yes it sounds like a cakewalk yes we have everything under control but do we really because we often come across all these crappy days in between and then hey all day planning for eating healthy throughout the week goes out for a toss and this is where scheduling solid meals comes into play so pre-plan your meals and you can often then easily eliminate the impulse for press for time purchases and those candy bars that you pick up so easily so casually at the register mm -hmm, don't do that I have this amazing exercise for you Pick up your journal and write down five great things that happened to you that particular day. Now it could be something as simple as um, someone giving you some great candy or someone giving you a rose, someone saying that you, you look pretty or the weather was just plain awesome and you were able to have a wonderful walk and feel good about yourself. So it could be anything. And this exercise of writing five things that went absolutely really well that day will make you feel a whole lot better. You know the code that every day might not be good, but there is some good in every single day. Now it is that good that we are out to explore with this exercise. And this exercise will actually make you realize all the good things that happen to you during the day. Also, if you get into the habit of practicing every single day, 
This particular exercise will help you develop a more positive mindset and automatically your brain will start focusing on all the great things that are happening in your life. And if you are someone who believes in the law of attraction, then of course you know that this positive mindset will bring better and better things into your life. time friend it gives you a chance to get some validation some listening some acceptance which are all really helpful during those crappy days if that person is as wonderful a person as you are they will also encourage you to do something other than wallow in your own misery this will help you feel so much better right after the conversation help reduce blood pressure as well as symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, anxiety, depression and according to a lot of departments of health all across the world it is actually a skill which is worth learning. And if you are really confused, you don't know where to start with meditation, remember meditation does not have to be a huge time investment and um, you don't have to have a totally clear mind. There are so many great meditation apps. There are so many YouTube channels out there as well that will help you get into the groove of meditation and be a wholesome person. And dance play some music let your body sway to that music do not care who's watching who's you know passing comments there's no one there's just you and you are free to do whatever you want and um, dancing alone in your room it's one of the most amazing things that you can do and it's one of the happiest exercises ever so put out your favorite song and dance it out and the good vibes will start flowing helps us feel better psychologically. It helps us feel better about ourselves. After a stressful day, take a nice warm shower and try to relax as it's known that when we feel better physically, we get more confident in ourselves, the more convinced we are about facing the challenges ahead. A hot bath is also a great way to reduce daily anxiety as well and make us feel good all around. Plus, it has a gazillion other benefits such as cleaner, healthier skin, reduced headaches, lower blood pressure and so, so much more. Have a set meal time where you either sit with your family, with your significant other or just yourself and enjoy your meal and it can be a really great way to connect with your loved ones or yourself and you get into this great, amazing, wonderful mindset that you will not be able to establish for yourself any other way. Massage time. No, I'm not saying that you need to spend a lot of money and get yourself a professional massage. Although, if that is what you have in mind and you have the moolah ready for that, then hey, go splurge, go have fun, you deserve that. But then, even if you do not have that in mind, you can go sit somewhere, grab some body oil or some lotion and give your legs and your arms a good massage with some oil or some lotion. And if you do some stretches right after this, and you can even time it even before you go to bed. And if you do that, you will feel so relaxed and you will fall asleep instantly. And that is really good for you. to try out yoga guys because a little goes a long way especially when it comes to fitness and a willingness to change up your workout routine it makes you feel that it is a lot less stifling and it may even get so much exciting and I don't need to educate you about the benefits of yoga we all know that don't we so chin up you beautiful person the world is your oyster and everything will be all right pretty soon.